So you think you might be called to be an Army chaplain? I'm about to share with you the qualifications to become a regular Army active duty chaplain. We also commission Army Reserve chaplains and chaplain candidates. Those roles have slightly different qualifications. Search this YouTube channel to discover those. Individuals take many paths to become U.S. Army chaplains. For the most part, it doesn't matter in which order you complete the qualifications. It just matters that you complete them. Here are the areas which we will consider. Citizenship, age, education, physical health, moral legal standing, endorsement, and ministerial experience. First, an active duty regular Army chaplain must be a U.S. citizen. Now let's talk about age. Chaplains assessing onto active duty must be less than 42 years old. We can sometimes grant an age waiver for applicants who are otherwise qualified and are a few years older than 42. But the short answer is, if you're older than 42, you should have a solid pastoral experience to balance that out. Next is education. An applicant must have a bachelor's degree with a 2.5 GPA or higher from an accredited institution. An applicant must also have a master's in divinity or the equivalent degree, including 72 hours or more, also with GPA above 2.5. The degree must be listed in a catalog as more than 71 hours, not a 60-hour degree with 12 additional hours. Because each chaplain is also a soldier, applicants must also be physically and mentally fit to serve in the Army. This has two parts, a physical examination and the ability to meet the Army height and weight standards. If you have undergone any surgeries or had any injuries, we will need to examine your situation to make sure you can physically perform the duties of a soldier. Unfortunately, there are some conditions which are disqualifying. In addition to physical fitness, chaplain applicants must also be mentally fit. If you take required prescribed medications for a mental condition, you may also be disqualified. The only way to know for sure if you have a disqualifying condition physically or mentally is to talk to a chaplain recruiter. Each applicant must also provide proof that they meet the current Army height and weight standard. The next qualification to consider is also one that applies to all soldiers. Each applicant must be able to pass a background check that includes an examination that will uncover any issues of a legal or moral nature. Generally speaking, if you have never been convicted of a felony or you've never had a bankruptcy or issues with collections, you shouldn't have any issues with the background check. So I've saved the more challenging qualifications for the end. The first is ecclesiastical endorsement. Each chaplain must be endorsed by an ecclesiastical body to verify that they represent their particular faith group. This looks very different across religions and even across denominations. To find your endorser, just Google your denomination and army chaplain. You'll know when you find the right person because they will already know the process for getting you endorsed. The last qualification for regular Army chaplains is pastoral work experience. Each applicant must work with past supervisors and possibly their endorser to verify a minimum of two years full-time pastoral work experience. This too can look very different across the spectrum of religious practice. So what do you think? Do you now or could you in the future meet these qualifications? Are you called to chaplain ministry? If you would like to know more about chaplaincy in the context of the U.S. Army or how to become an Army chaplain, please watch more videos on this channel and use the provided contact information to reach out to a chaplain recruiter. Please like and share our videos when appropriate, and please subscribe to this channel for updates. Blessing to you and yours for God and country.